The model we are referring to now is vision for responsible startups. In this module, we will talk about sustainable leadership and corporate culture. Any entrepreneur who would like to set up a startup, a company, an enterprise should have a vision. Why? Because being an entrepreneur takes courage and vision. As you have already learned, using the theory of change is an excellent start on explaining your journey to impact and formulate your vision. There are, of course, some critical steps that would help you become a successful entrepreneur. Summarized, they are as follows. Serve at best your beneficiaries, attract and retain talents, attract impact investors, align with your stakeholders, attract and retain clients, select the right partners, such as suppliers or financial advisors. They all should be aligned with your own purpose. A successful entrepreneur should uh, have the vision make as transparent as possible in order to communicate with the business field, the industry, or the community at large. So the vision should be stated on the website, social media, together with marketing and fundraising material, as well as the report regarding the sustainability and impact. Taking them separately, when we speak about uh, serving at best your beneficiary, it means that the well-being and the wealth of the entrepreneur should not disregard the well-being and the welfare of the network he is working with, meaning the beneficiaries. Attract and retain talents is crucial for an entrepreneur because talents bring in new sites, bring in creativity and innovation that are essential for a startup. Attract impact investors, meaning that the financial investors you are targeting should have the same purpose and the same vision concerning sustainability. Align with your stakeholders means leveling with all the involved stakeholders from the employees to clients, suppliers, and any other part that is interested or has connection to your own company. Attract and retain clients is again very important since the clients are the drivers that show how successful your uh, endeavor is and if and when you can rely on them. It is important to select the right partners aligned with your own purpose because any divergences will lead to failure. A successful entrepreneur also relies on sustainable leadership. Here are some key characteristics of such kind of leadership. First, we have empathy, compassion, humanity, and humility. It means that the entrepreneur understands how the others feel when related to his or her business and is ready to change anything that is not conform with expectations. Secondly, long-term vision and convergence of business and society, it means that the entrepreneur's own vision should be convergent, should be consistent with the expectation and pur purposes of business and society. Societal leaders, meaning that the corporate leader, the entrepreneur, should look beyond the corporate agenda, not look only 
at profitability, short-term profitability, but rather a long-term profitability without harming the community or the other stakeholders. Then we have partnerships, alliances, and collaboration that make up the network in which the entrepreneur works and which are essential for the durable uh, business of this particular entrepreneur. To quote the Institute for Sustainable Leadership, we can say that sustainable leadership refers to those behaviors, practices, and systems that create enduring value for all stakeholders of organizations, including investors, the environment, other species, future generations, and the community. It is extremely important to understand impact investors. Now the root of this approach relies in the view millennials and the generation Z make their choices considering the type of work they are prepared to do and the organization they are willing and prepared to work for. According to a Deloitte uh, survey, Generation Z and the millennials um, have their own ethical principles which they would like to recognize in the companies they work in. Therefore, aligning personal values with corporate values is a factor that should not be underestimated. Moreover, corporate values should be defined and transparently communicated. Ethical corporate values should be genuine and embedded into the organization's DNA. There is, though, a risk. Generally, um, entrepreneurs are very optimistic, sometimes over-optimistic, are willing to take risks, but they might fall in the trap of over-promising and so be perceived um, as greenwashing. Therefore, impact washing can take many shapes. But failing to consider a negative impact or exaggerating the importance of a positive impact are two malpractices that can be avoided by using a clear and sound methodology dedicated to such impacts. Evidencing your impact with clear metrics and data on how the organization contributes to the sustainability, sustainable development goals through its cooperation or in the way the organization is conducted its business will support the impact on the environment and on the society. It is ever more important because what gets measured gets done, meaning that the communication of the entrepreneur with the business field and the community should be made also through indicators which are seen as thresholds or targets the entrepreneur is uh, pursuing. So no entrepreneur should be over-promising, but being realistic to its uh, values and purposes. Creating shared value is another aspect the entrepreneur should regard. Corporate social responsibility, as we know it as the CSR, is a well-known term that can be perceived as a cost center. CSR is focusing on giving back or mitigating harm a business has on society and the planet. So when looking at the CSR at the costs, as a cost center, it is possible to mitigate it and to minimize it. Building on the need to move from mitigating risks to creating positive impact, that is a new strategy in making more sense. 
creating shared value as it is. It's a game changer, a shift that can accelerate the achievement of sustainability, the sustainable development goals. So this shift in paradigm means that shared values is not social responsibility, philanthropy, or sustainability, but a new way for companies to achieve economic success. That is what Michael Porter says about this concept. The differences between corporate social responsibility and creating shared value are given in this table. As opposed, the CSR addresses societal need and challenges by giving back plus doing no or less harm. It means doing good. It means discretionary or in response to external pressures, no relations with competitiveness. It also means separate from profit maximizing philanthropy. Agenda determined by external factors and often personal and department's preference. No real influence on innovation other than incremental, of course. Operational and tactical issues, scalable, but from cost perspective, seen as cost and legitimization of operations for investors. Creating shared value on the other hand, addresses societal needs and challenges with a business model. It aims doing well by doing good. Integral to competition, propels competitive advantage in new unlocked markets, meaning they want to identify and seize new markets that are different from the traditional ones. It is also integral to profit maximizing. It should be on the agenda of the company, of the sector, and should be market specific. It initiates radical innovation and incremental innovation at scale. It looks at strategies as priorities and it is at the heart of the business. Creating shared value should be scalable with profit increasing and should be seen as commercial opportunities for investors. Now time has come to test the knowledge you have acquired until now. Are you ready? Good luck. And here is the question. Impact investing versus ECG investing. Here are the alternative to multiply answers. First, impact investment is a lens applied to monitor and mitigate environmental, social, and governance risks when investing. The second possibility, ECG are investments made with the intention to generate positive, measurable social environmental impact alongside a financial return. And the third alternative, it is the impact investments are investments made with the intention to generate positive, measurable social and environmental impact along side of financial uh, profit. Now, since you have finished the ideas and opportunities module, you should click on the button in order to download the booklet this uh, competence unit regards. Onwards, Valuing ideas that can bring impact investment is another module you should be aware of. In this module, we will talk about the social and environmental value of investments. 
Now, as we all know, the genesis of the impact investment concept roots in the frequent economic crises that have gone on over the last decades, the loss of confidence in markets that translates in market failure, the deteriorating condition of the natural environment, growing social disproportions translated into inequality, and uneven development of selected areas in the world. Now, to correct all these uh, misshapes of the economic environment, impact investment is needed. In return for specific positive social or environmental changes, investors are willing to accept lower than market rates of return on invested capital and decide to bear a higher risk. It definitely is related to responsibility. And responsibility uh, relies on several pillars. Firstly, we have transparency, community, and environment, and then ecology, sustainability, and participation. All these pillars are interlinked are connected, making what we have a virtual circle, each of these pillars being interwoven with all the others. So what would be the motives for impact investment? The financial motive is somehow comes somehow, somehow second. It is not a priority anymore. Of course, an entrepreneur searches for financial benefits and risk mitigation. But firstly, an entrepreneur pursues the non-financial motives which rely on investors' preference, meaning being pro-environmental and pro-social, Ethic promises, premises, meaning the investors who are guided by the values or of value-driven investors. Another important motive is the investor's image in the community, in the society, and in the business field. Psychological and emotional premises, such as personal satisfaction, striving for changes in the social economic system and values determined by religion. So these are non-monetary motives, but take prevalence as compared to the financial ones. It means that uh, the responsible entrepreneur and the impact investor have ethical values. So the ethical values in the activities of impact investors look into responsibility, which means that the company is ready to take responsibility for the impact it has on the society and the environment. Transparency, meaning sharing information about decisions and activities related to those aspects of the company's operation that are related to the community and the society. Ethical behavior, when all decisions are made and executed in an honest, reliable, and credible manner. Ethical conduct is also the personal values and sense of responsibility of the owner of the company, readiness to treat other people as equals honesty and commitment. Last but not least, active presence in the environment so the company does not operate in isolation from the environment, engaging in pro-social and pro-environmental projects. 
To conclude this module, the impact investment goals are market related to environmental protection and trading in sustainable development assets, green slash clean energy and technology, for example, pursuing energy efficiency, waste management, transport, taking climate action, being responsible in consumption and production and in job creation. So reducing poverty and social exclusion, and of course, access to basic services such as education and healthcare. Thank you.